Hi there, my name is Megan Gallagher. I am a student of Woody Mason's and I'm recording this video for the professional dispositions assignment to complete uh, UNV 501. The first question that we we're asked to address is which dispositions do we possess that make us a successful teacher? Um, I believe that the three dispositions that I demonstrate most strongly are that educators should believe that all students can learn and should set and support realistic expectation for student success, that educators should promote and support curiosity and encourage active inquiry, and that educators should model integrity by their words and actions. The first disposition, that educators should believe that all students can learn and should set and support realistic expectations for student success, is one that forged me into my undergraduate program. Um, I live in Philadelphia, and I graduated from a Philadelphia public school. Um, I had a fantastic education, and I know that it's possible to receive a quality education in an urban public school. While I was doing my teacher training, however, everyone who trained with me um, did so intending to teach only in the affluent public school districts uh, in the neighboring suburbs. Not one person intended to teach in the city. I heard a lot of those kids can't be taught or there's no resources in those schools. These people were so dead set against teaching in the city that in fact, when none of them received job offers fresh out of school at a wealthy suburban district, they all chose fields other than teaching. Only two of the 12 of us actually went on to teach. I think that initially I was somewhat personally offended by their attitude because I was a product of those schools. My presence and success in this program should have proven what was possible. Eventually I became motivated by their attitudes in part because I wanted to prove them wrong and in part because I wanted to be part of the team of students, educators, and community stakeholders that changed the perception of that school. The second disposition that I believe I demonstrate strongly is that educators should support curiosity and encourage active inquiry. Um, this is incredibly important to me because all of my best memories of school happened in environments where curiosity and inquiry were encouraged. I'm proud that I manage a classroom where my students feel comfortable asking me questions, even when they're uncomfortable questions. And I've become comfortable admitting that I don't always have the answers, but I'm willing to research and present information so that we can have an informed conversation. I teach social studies, and there's so much my students don't know yet about history and citizenship and the world that we live in, much more than we could ever cover in a year. So although I obviously cover the curriculum that we're assigned, I also try as hard as I can to find time to encourage and satisfy the curiosities that emerge from our studies. The third disposition that I believe that I demonstrate strongly is that educators should model integrity in their words and in their actions. One of the greatest challenges that we face in the classroom is that of respect. Many educators look at that as a lack of respect from students but I think it's our responsibility to model the respect that we see, expect to see the, from them in many ways. You know, I show self-respect and respect to them by coming to work on time, ready to teach. And this mirrors our student expectation that they come to school every day on time, ready to learn. I, respect, I demonstrate self-respect and respect for them by um, addressing them calmly and kindly and letting them know that I expect the same in return. I'm honest with my students. And just as I set clear expectations of them, I make them aware of what their expectations may be of me. And when I know that I cannot meet their expectations, for example, taking longer to grade a project than I would a paper, I tell them in advance and explain why. When thinking of what dispositions I need to work on to grow as an educator, the first one that I need to grow on is that teachers understand the impact of community involvement and servant leadership as it applies to the welfare of others in the educational setting. I truly and wholeheartedly believe in this statement, but I don't think I'm currently living it to its full potential. I'm supportive of our community stakeholders and I work closely with outside partners that are doing good work to provide opportunities and service to my students. 
but I'm not personally involved in my students' community outside of school hours as I could be. And I don't always volunteer my time and talents for a defined role outside of the classroom. This is in part because I commit so many hours to my school day between teaching, preparation, and our after-school program that it makes it hard to maintain a work-home balance, and sometimes I don't think I have much left to give at the end of the day. Another disposition I would like to improve upon is that educators should promote social justice and equality, maintain appropriate standards of confidentiality, and exercise fairness in all areas, including assessment. I believe I'm doing a good job in the last two goals of this disposition, but I would like to be more active in the promotion of social justice and equity. My district has a very active group of teachers who are dedicated to bringing issues of social justice and equity to the forefront of conversations with the district, community, and local and state government. I would like to find a way to be more involved with them, but again, I feel restrained by time and other responsibilities. Also, sometimes the obstacles that my students seem to face are so overwhelming that I don't even know where to begin, but then I realize that I am probably better poised to advocate for them than they are for themselves, and I should embrace that opportunity. The final question asks, what does a professional educator look like and how do they behave? What standards guide their thinking and actions? In regards to how a professional educator looks and behaves and what standards guide their thinking and actions, I think that our discussion of dispositions has already begun to address this. I think that a professional educator looks like a professional. They dress in a way that is neat and appropriate for their setting. And that's not to say they're in a suit or a dress every day, but it is to say that sweats and t-shirts are rarely appropriate. They behave with integrity in their words and actions. A professional educator has no reason to be dishonest in their words because their actions are guided by integrity. When we read the model code of ethics for educators, they are guided by their sense of responsibility to the profession, to the students, to the school community, and to the community at large.